All right, guys, <clears throat> it's been a while since I made a video, and uh, it's almost the end of fall semester, so I got some free time on my hands. Anyway, I had this home light weed eater laying around, and uh, last week I found a Schwinn bike on the trash. Uh, nothing's wrong with either of them, though. They just need a little bit of work. Anyway, I'm going to be making a motorized bike, and I'm going to be making videos along the process. So everybody else that wants to make one hopefully can learn something. But uh, this is an older home light. I like using them. I've made like three some bikes with them before. They're all gone though. But you can check out some of my older videos. Anyway, what you want to do, you want to remove the shaft, the trimmer shaft and the shroud from the motor. Go ahead and hold on to these bolts. I screwed them into the casing there so I wouldn't lose them. I really like these home lights because they're pretty flat and easy to mount up. Um, of course on the left side there you're going to want to uh, cut your mount so it'll clear the, the flywheel, which I'll do that too. Um, anyway, then you're going to want to take this uh, nut off the flywheel, that's the stock nut. You see it's got the square attachment for the, the uh, trimmer shaft. And I used a size 13 uh, wrench metric. Um, and a screwdriver to stop the flywheel. And you see the shaft right there. Let's see if she'll focus in. It is fully threaded. That's what you'll want. So go ahead and take that nut to Home Depot and get just a nut. Um, some people, well, you can just cut that uh, square attachment off the end, but you know, a new nut's under a buck, so why not? Um, that's really it. This one just needs new fuel lines and uh, we'll get that running once it's on the bike. Now what you want to do is you, I'll, I'll show you at the hardware store what you want to buy, all the hardware. And um, we're going to use a 3 4 inch long drive socket um, as a spindle, which is what's going to touch the tire and propel it forward. Uh, make sure it's 3 8 drive though, so it'll clear that shaft and it should center up just nicely. But uh, those are under 10 bucks, you can get them. But I like that the using a socket as a spindle, I had good luck with it in the past. So, anyway, that's it. Uh, the bike will be getting pegs and all that. I like this one because the rear end is uh, the, the frame is square, so it should be really easy to mount up something there. Uh, just bolt right up. But anyway, stay tuned and please subscribe.